Dr. Crane, we have a woman on line three, who doesn't wish to be identified. She is a single mother of a boy, and wants some advice. Okay, thanks Roz. Go ahead caller, I'm listening and happy to help. Ahem, thank you, Dr. Crane. This wasn't easy for me to call in to your show, but I am really feeling frazzled trying to raise my son alone. I used to be married to a wonderful man, but I made a mistake that cost me that marriage. My boy misses his father every day and often won't tell me his problems because he thinks his dad should hear them instead. I have been seeing a man lately, but my son refuses to open up to him. Dr. Crane, how should I handle this situation? Um, first of all, is your name, Lilith? <laughs> okay, fine, Fraser. You caught me. But Frederick often asks when we are going to be a family again, and I don't know what to tell him. He's coming into a vulnerable age. Oh? Well, uh, since he's my son too, I am of course, just as concerned as you are. I never thought I'd be giving advice to my ex-wife, by her request. If Frederick has personal things he'd like to share, tell him he's welcome to call his father, any time he needs to. And, don't make it your new boyfriend's responsibility to be his new dad. Thank you, Fraser. Goodbye. Wow, Roz, that was some show today. It sure was. I honestly didn't know that was Lilith on the phone. Sorry, Fraser. No, no, it's alright. Our divorce was years ago now, and it is important for our son's well-being to keep in touch. That is true. By the way, Fraser, I've booked you a farewell dinner with BB. A farewell dinner? Already? Kate told me to cut back on our budget now, and since BB's done what she was supposed to do, I was asked to terminate the contract. Very well then. When is this, dinner? Tonight at 7 o'clock. I booked you and to Bistro de Paris, under your own name. Indeed. Good thing I'm a local celebrity. Good thing. Haha. <laughs> ha. Hey Noel, guess what? What? Did you hear about that new guy, Scott? I've seen him. What about him? He's been dating Roz for weeks. He has? That woman has never dated a man beyond 14 days. So this Scott must be something special. Well, as long as she's happy, hang in there Trekkie, you'll find another object of desire. Here's my floor. As long as my princess Raza is happy. Scott, sent to us from the IT department. Um, no. You get a chance to date the most alluring, wonderful, beautiful and powerful woman in all of this building. Uh, yeah. I guess I do, don't I? Well Scott, I just wanted to say, please take care of her. No, you have my word. Time to move on. Hey sugar, nice to run into you here. Likewise. Is everything okay? Oh of course it is. Why do you ask? Oh, I don't know. Maybe because I've never seen you this nervous, not even when you proposed. What's going on, honey? Okay, fine. If we're going to be married soon, I can't lie to you. I ate a pot brownie the other day. That's it? Yes, that's it. That's the thing that got you so worked up? 
Well, it wasn't fun not knowing why I felt so strange, and then finding out it was my son's idea to put himself through that. Which son? The younger blonde one. It was Niles? Well I'll be darned. I didn't know he had it in him. That's the whole reason he tried it in the first place. Something about trying to make Daphne think he was a bad boy. Oh Martin, you have raised those two right. Thank you. So, I couldn't help notice, Daphne and Niles are as different as night and day. What's the attraction there? I think that's it. Their differences are what makes the attraction. I know when he first met her, he couldn't get past her Manchester accent, her porcelain skin, her sparkling eyes, her warm smile, her sense of humor. Well honey, that's quite a list. Well then, you should have been there when she realized she loves him too. Every time we were doing my exercises it was, Niles this, Niles that. Well honey, love is, what makes the world go around. You're right Sherry. Love ya. Love you back. Fraser, darling, here we are, back at this lovely place. Yes, here we are. Is everything alright with my favorite client? Uh, yeah, BB, I would like to thank you, again for, you know. Thank me for? You know, for getting me on TV, and all your help with our call-in show. If I didn't know any better, I'd think you were breaking up with BB. Ha ha. Funny you should say that. Oh, you are breaking up with BB. I don't really want to, but Kate said it's not in our budget anymore to keep a talent agent. I'm really sorry. Well, after all I've done for you. BB? Goodbye, Frasia. I think that actually went rather well.